Christmas is here and it means time with family, opening presents and giving to others. Well, folks in Greensboro helped out their homeless neighbors today, people who don't have anywhere to go on the holiday. Still, the community gave something extra, an extra comfort this Christmas. WFMY News 2's Adoria Chumba was there and learned more about their stories. Turkey, greens, beans, potatoes, and much more. Volunteers served it all to the community at Bender's Tavern, uh, their Christmas Day feast to feed the needy. Hey, sir, do you want stuff for animal? Thank you. Four-year-old Allie is hard at work handing animal? out toys. These are the ones we get to the big people, and these are the ones where we get to the little people. While sixth grader Lee Bailey helps in the kitchen. They're among almost 100 volunteers providing Christmas Day meals at Bender's Tavern. We have people making to-go boxes for, like, for people to go out and around. And we're also just making plates inside that we serve to people that are coming in here. Folks like O'Shea Carmichael. I was a little bit down this morning. And when she came, she uplifted me. You know what I'm saying? She came, brought me here. Me. Lead organizer Anna Freiberg says this community service helps remind folks to lend a hand. Uh, especially kids these days, teenagers, they forget that there's other people that struggle. It's awesome to see these young kids out here volunteering because they get it and understand like those gifts that they just got this morning mean the world, but there's other people that don't have what they have. And for folks here, each plate is a gift. That's the two minutes of Christmas and not about always receiving it's about giving back it's just it's off the chain enough it's made your day it made my day it made my day it was just wonderful it made my whole morning it made my christmas now volunteers served and packed about 5,000 meals today they've done this for the last nine years now the organizers said that they were able to achieve that through donations from local businesses and the community